when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? So as of right now, we're about to be heading to Sacramento and we're about to be going to Saks Fee Shop and we're finally about to be dropping off my supercharged C5. I'm hoping this is the last time that we have to do anything to it. I'm hoping this is the last go around. We finish this thing up and we're on the dyno. I want to end this year off proper with majority of the cars running you guys on instagram i already know that contact the machine shop all the parts are there the jay-z is getting ready to fully be assembled we should have that back by uh sometime in december is the the plan for it so i'm literally trying to finish up majority of these cars and have just the new years come in right so uh this is kind of i'm hoping fingers crossed that we finish up the c5 and we can knock this thing out uh this update on the c6 you guys remember at the track i ended up breaking the output shaft so currently the c6 is at my boy eggers and the transmission is at one of his boys in san jose i can't remember the shop i'm so sorry but uh the current situation on that is we're doing cryo treated input shaft cryo treated output shafts cryo treated first gear second gear third gear and fourth gear um so the c6 trans should be capable of supporting a uh, thousand horsepower that's the goal blah 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 but i don't want to drag the intro on too long i hate doing that uh so yeah that's what we're getting into today so anywho with that being all said let's just start gathering shit up and getting ready to head out the sack and yeah c5 today so <sighs> hopefully fingers crossed man just fucking cross this car has been a fucking nightmare a pain in my ass and Ah, if it didn't have so much sentimental values, I would have gave up on this thing a long time ago. But since this is a car that my grandfather wanted and he passed and I'm building the car in remembrance of him and all this stuff, I can't get rid of it. I can't give up on it. I got to finish it. Uh, at one point, you guys remember it was running flawless and this go around is just kind of like been an issue. But I promise you we're going to get it all sorted out. It's going to be right. It's going to be A1. It's going to be perfect. But God damn it. This process has been a journey. Oh, rambling. Uh, yeah, sorry. A little long intro. <laughs> Alright, man. I hope this thing starts up. I haven't started in a minute, so we're going to pray that this thing starts. Uh, this is going to be the knock sensor relocation kit. Have to get this because that is also part of something that needs to be addressed here. Since we have the new headers and everything, the knock sensors need to be relocated. So yeah, this is kind of like a Frankenstein combo. It has the uh, LS2 block, the 243 LS6 heads. Currently, we don't run knock sensors on here. They're kind of just disconnected, but I do want to get the knock sensors on. Uh, it's not going to really matter because this car is always on E85, so we shouldn't have any knock, but it won't hurt to have the knock sensors and everything working properly. So we're going to be getting that on. All right, let's see. We All right, here we go. You going to start up? sad when you're like excited that your car starts up. <laughs> so sad. Mm. I smell the E. <sighs> smells good. Alright, we'll let this thing warm up and then we're going to be out. We're going to be stuck in traffic. It's rush hour so it's probably going to be like an hour and a half before we get to Saks Fee Shop but I need to get there before 5pm because Aaron's off about that time and Aaron's my ride back. Bro, the misfire on this thing is like so bad now. It's just like, ugh. Crazy part, there's like no check engine lights or anything on the car. But like definitely has like a funky misfire. I think it's wire related. Some of you guys may have seen the old video where I was kind of like trying to troubleshoot things and I kind of got it narrowed down to where I'm sure it's the, the wire harness on what's going on with this thing. It has a pretty bad misfire. Like, ugh. Come on, oh, come on, bruh. This shit's gonna get annoying. Dude, I'm doing, I'm like revving. Police is like right in front of me. Look at that. So here, blow off out and be like, nigga, pull your ass over. It's bad enough. I'm in a 
car with a freaking whole carnage wrap on it. California be like, is that all? Do I hear illegal mods? Do I hear illegal mods on there? Are you gonna die again? Oh, better not. Come, come. Oh, fucking hate this thing, bro. traffic the whole way there, bro. This is gonna get so annoying if I gotta deal with this. And I'm pretty sure if I got out and mess with the harness, I can get it to start running better. It's like, one minute you hit a bump and it's like, ah, uh, drive like shit. Then you hit another bump and it's like, oh God, we're good again. Bitch, hella sputtering. I'm not even really on it or nothing. I'm just trying to like get up to speed, just like sputtering, just Cruising. Woosa. Woosa, woosa, woosa. It's my problem child for sure. Alright, so after about 30 minutes or so of driving on the freeway, I guess I finally hit the correct bump and it knocked the harness or whatever fuck the short is in the proper spot because now we ain't sputtering. Look at the AFR and everything. Perfect. 14.7 and 15, uh, 15 one on both banks. Even, no issues. Car like literally just cruising. <sighs> Look, check it out, just cruising, rolling in. Remember before I was hella breaking up? Smooth now. <laughs> like, I would like to drive this thing to the gym all the time if I, if I could. You know, every all the parts on here are all carb legal. So if I get my hood popped, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, like I can, I can get by. It has AC, so literally after after this is all done i'm gonna put music back in here i mean it already has a, a stereo but i'm gonna put a better radio in put some subs in it already has the bowl systems this is the uh the z71 power z51 package on the corvette so it has a good sound system and everything just need some subs behind it and be back to having like a super fun daily i don't plan on turning this thing up no more than what it's at anytime soon so I just want to get all the bugs worked out, leave it at 700 plus, and like we're good. All right, we're literally right around the corner from Saks Bean Shop now. Park this shit right in front of Annoy Ray. So we're just gonna wait for Ray and him to get back. And then I'm gonna show y'all and show Ray this issue with this wiring. But for the people that may be new or viewing for the first time, ooh, I thought I almost hit that thing. But yeah, so essentially uh, 402, 243 heads, uh, a and supercharger kit. It's the gist of it for the new people. And then custom search tank set up for fueling. And get a quick thumbnail. Yep, there we go. That should work, one of these. Look at all these red cars. Red car, red car, red car. Fuck my car's red, red, red car. Get on camera. Fuck Mike and his car. Bro, you need to be more professional as the owner, sir. Fuck his car and him. At you, 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 how you talking? You sure you want to do business with him? <laughs> Unprofessional. This is six figure dude, he's from Smut. So I mean, we got a good name out there. Hey, don't work with him, bro. You hear how you talk to his customers? <laughs> hey, you tell him, you tell him you're professional, he gonna fuck Mr. Mike Mike. Right? <laughs> Look, another red car. Man, what's up with all these red cars in here? Y'all gang banging. You gang banger thugs, you. You got Ray on the laptop? This shit gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all already know right here, man. It's the cutest vet tech you know. Oh, That's just my baby daddy right here. <laughs> <laughs> I said Ray the cutest vet tech they know. That's my boo. Christian. Nah, 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 nah. nah, Christian. Christian fugly. Oh, <laughs> 
He, 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 he retired from vets. Hold on. Start, start it up real quick. It wasn't like that when you picked it up. It was like this. No. It's been like this. Come here. It wasn't, Come here. It wasn't like that. Come here. I didn't change coil packs, wiring, everything. It's a, it has a new new harness, all that. Mm -hmm. I something? Clutch in all the way. Jeez! Watch this! Come on, come on, come on, come on. You gonna do it? Don't do me like this! Don't do me like this! Oh, now I don't wanna do it! You mother Do it! Do it! You don't wanna do it right now! Bro, it does it! You don't wanna do it now! I don't want to do it now. But All right, Mike. Let me ask you. When is it harness ever going to move that hard? Bruh. <laughs> when you wiggle it, it cuts off. It goes into lip mode. It I does the same see, thing. I, I didn't see it. You did see it. Nah, you see seen it. it when you was doing it here nah. when Jason was doing it. He's like, you keep going in lip mode. <laughs> yes, nigga. That was your throttle, buddy. That harness is new. Yeah. And it did the same thing with the new, with the new coil harness and everything. I wasn't doing that before. Bruh. Fix my shit, make my shit straight, bitch ass nigga. It's like loud. Sounds good though. Little ring, 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 ring. Which pro charger is this? Uh, P1X. Why oh, so loud? The straight cut gears and shit on this yeah. one? Yeah. Hell loud. Sound like my C6. <laughs> C5Z. I would trade my C5 for a C5Z any day. I really want a C5Z. Hella bad. All the stock, this thing is gorgeous. Sorry, supercharged. Y'all can hear the blower. Lick, lip licking. <laughs> Hey, no, I'm gonna come up. You can go to speak, but it's better. Run 